how y'all doing today? I hope you're uh, settling in for a nice weekend, the last weekend of your spring break, some of you. Okay, so today I'm coming at you with an updated review on the bow board in the monogram print. Now you may have seen my video from a long time ago. I reviewed this one and the uh, the one in the Damier Bean print, but I wanted to do an updated uh, review just because I like to do that. So um, just to refresh your memory, the measurements on this bag are 12 inches wide, <laughs> 14 inches tall, by three and a half inches deep, and then the strap drop is nine inches. And it also has these little snaps that you can, okay, you can put like this, and then, you know, just to kind of cinch it in, which honestly, it doesn't really make all that much difference. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I really don't know. But I guess you could do that. But anyway, um, this bag is an awesome bag because it has this nice little outside slip pocket. As you can see, even though it's the monogram print, it does not have any vachetta leather to, for you to worry about. It has these uh, webbed, these cotton webbed handles, and they've got, so like they're, you know, flat like this. And when they get up to the middle, they've got them folded over and then attached with some rivets. So, um, you know, I guess this is just to... You know, honestly, I don't know if this was just like a design thing. I don't think there's really any necessary, like, reason that they cinched them like that, cinched them, but folded them over like that. But anyway, maybe just to, you know, spice it up a bit. I don't know. But anyway, and then it has Louis Vuitton, like, I don't know if you can see. It's got, yeah, there you go. has Louis Vuitton kind of embossed on the handle, and that's kind of a nice touch. But um, if you're looking for a bag that's not the Neverfull, because let's face it, Everybody has the Neverfull, right? And so if you're looking for a tote bag, but you want something a little different, this is a great option, okay? Um, it, it originally was from the men's line, so, uh, and I forgot, I'll have to look at the year and I don't have time to hunt down the, the date code in it to tell you what year it is. But anyway, okay, let me just tell you that. So, like I said, you have a slip pocket on the outside and I have my little handy dandy uh, dead six plus to kind of show you how, okay, so it fits that phone and it doesn't stick out. And, whoa, it goes all the way down there. So actually, okay, so, whoa, it goes all the way down there. I, sh I wish I had a water bottle that was a regular size. Um, Y'all, I can't demonstrate sometimes with water bottles because they're this size. Let me show you. This is the size of mama's water bottle. So obviously it's not gonna fit in the outside pocket. But what I was gonna say is it probably would fit um, the regular size, the 16.9 ounce, you could put a water bottle out here. And I wish I had one. Well, okay. There's always a water bottle laying around, but not today. Okay, so your phone will obviously fit in this pocket. It goes all the way down. So the pocket literally goes down to here, okay? So from here to here. So what else? I don't know. You could throw your keys in there, although there is a D-ring in this bag. See on the side here? There's a D-ring which you already know, I love me some D-ring. And then you have a slip pocket here, which let me get this six plus out. It will fit side to side, I think. Yes, just a, it's just an exact fit side to side. And then you have the smaller cell phone pocket over here. So you can put lip gloss, pens, um, lipstick, gum. Uh, you could probably put one of those travel sizes of Kleenex in there. I've done that before. And so it's super functional. Okay, and then this other really cool pocket that it has is, okay, so there, so the, the bag itself, like the main, the main opening of the bag is not a zipper closure, right? It's just like this, this is the main part. But there's this little like secret, and it's really not a secret because you can see the zipper, but I'm just saying secret. It's just this little kind of like compact pocket. No, it's not compact. It goes all the way down too. For some reason I was thinking that it only went like halfway, but no, it doesn't. So you, you basically have two sides of the bag, all right? You've got the main compartment here, and then whatever you want to keep secure. So let's say you wanna put your wallet in here because you do wanna keep that secure. You can put it in this little zipper side and it goes all the way down, like I said. So let's just do that. I'll just set it in it. This is my Kate Spade Zippy wallet. It's the same size as the Louis Vuitton Zippy. So I'm gonna put this up like this. It will fit like this, but I wanna put some more stuff in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here like this, okay? And then I'm just gonna get my regular accessory pochette and I'm gonna put that in there like that too because they would sit five, side by side by side. They will fit side by side, but then it just makes the bag awkward because then it sticks out, then it makes, it creates a bulge into the main compartment. Okay, y'all, this little hair right here is, 
is tripping and it's bugging me. Okay, I'm so sorry, that bugged me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this next to that. So in this pocket, the zipper pocket, I basically have just those two things. Obviously, I can put stuff on top of it, you know, um, I don't know, whatever. And, and even, okay, so you know how I carry my big uh, calendar? Of course, I don't have that right here either. I am just a dang hot mess today. Well, okay, here's what it will fit. Do I remember my spoon? <laughs> to make a comeback. It'll fit in here all the way down, okay? So I can just put all that stuff in here. And let's just say this is just a pocket, like I said, that I really just want, I just want these items secure, okay? It's got my wallet, my accessory pochette that maybe I have some valuable stuff in, and so I'm gonna put that in here. So now let's go to the main part, okay? Which, that part is huge, there's still, now just for, to, for size purposes, I brought out my Truce 23, just because I wanted to show you that it will fit in there, okay, like this. All right, and so it just all the way down, okay, but basically because it's going to take up Because I have those other things in the other pocket. It's going to take up room in this side So I mean I can put something else beside it here. Here's that mid-size pochette y'all know my mid-size pochette I'm gonna put it next to it now. It's gonna be snug But you know one way that you could eliminate this whole thing is to stand these two things up what I've noticed on taller bags so like, because this is 14 inches tall, and my Merceau GM, which is, um, what is it, 12 inches tall? So on the taller bags, what I notice, I, my stuff fits better in them when you stack stuff like this. Instead of everything being like this, because you know how like you have like the Speedy or tote bags, you can put everything side by side. In taller bags, you really have to do this if you want everything to fit and not, you know, have it. Because if you start stacking stuff, then you can't get into it, because then you're having to dig around and... You can't like access your stuff quickly. You're gonna have to put your bag down and dig everything out. And so, you know, you're stacking stuff on top like that. But if you wanted to just get, so I'm gonna get the truce bag and I'm gonna put it in like this. Okay, well that frees up the whole other side, right? So then I can put the mid-size pochette and I'm gonna put it, this is kind of weird. I'm gonna put it like this, okay? And honestly, if I wanted to carry my big old, what size is this? This is literally like, where is the dang? Okay, it looks like one of those liters of Coke. It's not. I think it's like a half liter. It would fit in here. <laughs> I wish you could see how, like, this is huge, all right? Like, like, here's my head. See? It's huge. And it would fit, and it won't stick out. You can see. So, I, in this bag, I can carry my huge water. And I have all my other stuff. Um, okay, well, actually, I don't have my... This is my little cosmetic thing. Well, okay, I don't carry cosmetics. You guys know this. I just have little... I have, a lip, I have an emergency lip gloss, an emergency... Um, lipstick, my compact, and toothpicks and floss, I think, is like all I have in here. So I can just throw this on top and it's fine. And then, okay, so the phone, I'm going to put the phone here on the inside or on the outside, like whatever. There is so much organization in this bag. And so I'm just thinking how many purposes you could use this bag for. So obviously it could be a day-to-day -day bag, okay? Definitely works. It's not too overbearing and too obnoxious to carry day-to-day. It could also be a work tote. In fact, because you have this zipper part, you can keep your personal day-to-day -day stuff. It can be both. It's like a hybrid bag. You can put all your, you know, your wallet and your accessory pochette because those are really, I mean, for real, those are like the two main things you need. Put those in the zipper part and then put your, your laptop or your iPad and your folders or whatever in this side and then you're good to go. And um, it could also be a good mom bag. Same thing. You can put all of the baby, the babyish stuff on the, in the big compartment, and then you can put the mom stuff, your essentials, in the zipper part, or vice versa, or whatever. And then, um, what else was I thinking? Okay, so day to day, and then work, and then mom bag, and then of course, just weekend bag. I mean, if you just, for the weekend, you were gonna be out running around, and you needed to carry, you know, just needed, I'm not gonna say a beach tote, because this is, this ain't no beach tote, okay? But if you wanted a weekender tote, so you're going into the city, and you know, you have, I don't know, you're just carrying random stuff. Umbrella and stuff you don't normally carry in your day-to-day -day bag, this would work for that too. Because again, you have this. Okay, so let me just show you what it looks like um, over the shoulder. This is another thing, is you can access this from the shoulder, which I'm a huge fan of. Okay, so up on my shoulder, and I can totally access it from my shoulder, okay? I can get into every single pocket. I can zip, unzip this, get into here, see? Get everything out. I can do all that. Now, I wanted to see if it passes the elbow test. Usually I need about 10 inches. Okay, that, that works. This is nine inches and it will work. You know, sometimes you just don't ever know. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Because this side, yeah. 
I don't know, I feel like this arm over here is like fatter or something, or maybe it's just longer. You know how like, I don't know, this side just feels longer. So it seems like it's more of a struggle. I can do it though, okay, that's good. And then I can do this one. Perfect. Yeah, okay, so front, what? Side, well, I better be careful because I'm wearing that dang boot. Okay, and then back. And so, like I said, if you're wanting like a uh, weatherproof bag, but you're not necessarily a fan of the Damier Bean print, or Damier Bean, uh, Damray Bean, can't even talk, Damier Bean print, then this is a good option because who cares if these get wet? Who cares? It's not gonna, nothing's gonna stain, nothing's, there's no water stains or water damage, well not damage, but you know, none of that, none of that going on with this bag. So this bag is a great bag. Um, it doesn't have any feet, which is totally fine, but wow. Or if you do like the DMA bean print and you love this bag, oh, let's just do this, okay? You can get it in both prints. And they're both, of course, it's the same exact thing, just in the other print. But man, this is such a great option. And actually, I say there's no Vachetta leather. There actually is, I take it back. But it doesn't matter if it gets wet because you'd never see any water on this, see? So you have the webbed handle strap and it's over like a patch of Vachetta on there. Okay, hold on, let me get down. What these, wait, what foot should I use? Okay, ooh, okay. See, you can see that. But it's, but if it gets wet, it doesn't matter, okay? Because it's not, you're not gonna see anything. In fact, all that you can, it's all, the only thing that there's room for on that piece of leather is just for the glazing. And I don't even, yeah, that's about it, actually. So yeah, perfect. Got all these cute little rivets and they're all embossed with Louis Vuitton. Nice little snaps, cinch them in if you want. Rivets on the handle, Louis Vuitton embossed on the handle here. This is a great bag. I kind of forgot how awesome this bag is, if I can be honest. But like I said, what, I think that the, here's what drew me to it. Um, again, I was trying to find a tote bag, and at the time that I found this bag, I was not a fan of the Neverfull. Now you know, I did eventually, it grew on me eventually, and, and I did like it, and I had it for a while. But um, like I said, everyone has that bag, and it did not pass the elbow test, and I really, I hate that. Like, I liked it otherwise. I didn't care that it didn't have a zipper. But I just wanted something that's not, that's different, that you don't see a lot of. And you really don't. You don't see a lot of people carrying this. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend before, uh, or the, the last weekend of your spring break. Before y'all got to hit it, you know, back hard and heavy on Monday. So um, I hope this is helpful. Talk to you all real soon. Okay, bye!